What's good, Barfly fam? Today we're going to be doing my five favorite rum drinks. Rum is quickly becoming my favorite spirits category. There's just so much variety in it. It is mind-blowing. So I thought I would bring you these five drinks that I love so much. They're going to be quick. They're going to be easy. Let's get into it. All right, first cocktail we're doing is called a Queen's Park Swizzle. So first thing we're going to do here is just a small palm of mint, eight to ten leaves. I'm going to save the mint sprigs uh, for garnishing. Uh, and then we're going to do a one ounce of lime juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, just putting all straight in the glass. Two ounces of white rum. I'm using a Demerara rum, uh, which was would be the original rum used in this drink. Straight into our glass. And then what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of pebble ice, and then we're gonna work our swizzle stick. So instead of uh, shaking, we're gonna actually agi agitate with the swizzle stick. Um, and basically what we do is we just add that down into the glass and we just kind of work it between our our palms like so. What you wanna do is try and chill the glass until it has got kind of a frost on the outside. My ice has actually been sitting out for a little second, so I'm not really sure we're gonna reach that temperature right now, but we're gonna try. This also obviously serves to mix the drink. You kinda of wanna work the swizzle stick up and down. All right, and once we've achieved the proper dilution and chill, we're just going to add a little bit of the pebble ice in here, and then we're just gonna to top it off with a little bit of Angostura bitters. Top it up with a little more pebble ice, and so that you get that nice sort of like three color, you've got your you know green mint, and then you have your uh, a little bit of red in here, and then you have the white ice on top, and it just makes a nice like kind of three-tiered sort of color. And then we're gonna take our mint sprigs from earlier and give it a nice little slappy poo and a crushy pants and give it a nice little mint bouquet. So there it is, the Queen's Park Swizzle. All right, next cocktail we got going is a Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. So first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, a quarter of an ounce of the dry curacao or curacao, up to you. I'm using the dry curacao, PR Ferrand. Half an ounce of our Velvet Falernum two ounces of our Demerara rum. We're using El Dorado again, this time the five year. Add our ice to our tin, add our cocktail, lock it and give it a nice shake. And we're gonna give it a nice double strain into our glass. This cocktail gets no garnish. The lovely aerated lime is the garnish. And there it is the Royal Bermuda Yacht Club. So next cocktail we got today is an old fashioned variation called an Old Devil. So first thing we're gonna do is just one Demerara sugar cube in the bottom of our glass. We're gonna do six dashes of Angostura bitters, six drops of our Tiki bitters from Bitterman's. Give it a little muddle. And if you want, you could throw a little dash of soda down in there to help the sugar dissolve. It's not necessary though. Then we're gonna do uh, one ounce of Appleton 12 three quarters of an ounce of the Sailor Jerry spiced rum. And last but certainly not least, quarter of an ounce of Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. And then we're just gonna take a big rock of ice and we're just gonna stir it in. You wanna make sure that you kind of dissolve a little bit of that sugar. You will kind of want a granually kind of texture to the cocktail, but you definitely want to get a little bit of it dissolved into the drink. All right, and then we're gonna give it a nice orange twist. Wipe the little peel around the glass like so. There it is, the old devil. Next cocktail up is a cocktail that should be on every single person's favorite rum list. We're doing a Mai Tai, and we're doing the Trader Vic version. So first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of lime juice, and then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of orgeau, which is almond syrup, quarter ounce of simple syrup, half an ounce of orange curacao, and then we're gonna do one ounce of rum agricole vu, an ounce of dark Jamaican rum. We're using Appleton Signature for this. And then what we're gonna do is just give it a little whip shake with some pebble. Ungated pour into our glass. Top it up with more pebble. And then for a garnish, we are gonna do a spent lime half. 
And then we're gonna give it a big bushy kind of mint sprig. And then we're just gonna put in a little orchid right there. And there you have it, the Mai Tai. For our last cocktail today, we've got a planter's punch. First thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of lime juice, and one and a half ounces of black tea. Half an ounce of Dr. Bird Jamaican rum, one of my absolute favorites from Two James Distillery, and an ounce and a half of Appleton Signature. Add some ice into our glass, add some ice into our tin. Give it a nice shake. Give it a nice double strain. And then we're gonna add a little mint sprig garnish. So there it is, the planter's punch. There you have it guys, my five favorite rum drinks, pretty quick really refreshing, relatively simple to make. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on our YouTube memberships. We got some exclusive content there and some fun emojis that you get for your membership. So if you wanna help us out, you can do that. Check out our virtual bottle program at theeducatedbarfly.com. You can buy us a bottle and we will shout out your name if we use it in an episode. Check out our Teespring, check out our Discord. All those links are below, plus the links for every piece of gear that we use is also below. And I will see you guys on another time.